What's up guys, it's Power Bang here and I'm bringing you guys another three star vault. This is the first ever Town Hall 11 version of this, uh, you know, series, I guess you would call it. But check this out. Here is the base, guys. This is a Town Hall 11. It's got the two Infernos in the core. And regardless of if they're single target or multi-target Inferno, this attack will work the exact same way. Because, as you can see, uh, they barely, barely target any of the defenses that are surrounding them. So that's important to take note of. Let's go ahead and check out uh, a base a couple below this one, and look at that. It is the exact same base, slightly lower level, um, very high point defense level, high splash towers and whatnot, but it is a newer Town Hall 11, and he is obviously still upgrading his stuff. But he does have 40-40 heroes, um, but this is just a great opportunity to showcase the same strategy on a different style base. So let's go watch number three first, and this is a maxed out Town Hall 11. Uh, which obviously is going to be a little bit higher degree of difficulty. Um, actually, he doesn't have the maxed out Archer Towers yet. He's working on those, as you can see, uh, on those level 14 Archer Towers. But the, the premise is this, guys. Here is the base, and the goal is to come from the bottom. The Mass Miners is going to be the attack of choice here, and that means that you can essentially ignore the heroes because the Miners will aggro to them as they progress through the base. Now, the, the main uh, hazards in this attack are going to be the wizard towers on the backside. Having those towards the end of a raid um, can be pretty difficult because they can pick off groups of miners, especially when they're grouped up together like that. So those are something to watch out for. It'll be good to have the miners going into that section at full health and also cover their approach to those wizard towers with heal spells. Now on the front side, the main problem that you're going to have are your miners not going to the core, missing the inferno towers and the town hall. In order to combat that, all you need to do is send in the heroes on the corners here and get them inside the walls or in the queen's case, shoot from outside the walls to trim these buildings. That way, when the miners hit from the bottom and essentially all that they have left is what's showing on the screen right now, they will path from the outside to the inside and eventually meet up towards this eagle artillery and head towards the nearest buildings after that, which will be the single target Infernos in the core of the base. Now, the other key is your Grand Warden. You need to basically be watching for giant bombs that are gonna potentially ruin your miners um, and be ready to trigger that Grand Warden ability just in case. But five heal spells is the prescribed method here. And as you can see, he drops the king on the right side and a few wall breakers right behind him. Three wall breakers go in and look at that opens up the wall just like so, and now the king heads into the base. He'll use his ability uh, to make sure that he's able to trim some of these buildings, and eventually he'll press further on into the base and engage the king with those barbarians. So the goal is just to get that funnel broken off, which he does, and on the left side, the queen does the exact same thing. She uses her ability and takes care of some buildings as well. So now you see the miners from the bottom deployed from the outside to the inside. Now, five heal spells. You're going to be saving... Uh, one here for the bottom to make sure that the healers are grouped or the miners are grouped up inside of it and check that out. Now they go to the core and to the right side because the, uh, the I don't know what's that called, the buildings went down a little bit lopsided. So there's another heal spell. The double poison is important for that clan castle and the miners then branch out from the core. Now we've got kind of two more heal spells and you can see that they're going to cover the left and right sides of the base as they approach the Inferno Tower. Now, the Baby Dragon did not get killed, but never fear. Uh, these miners under heals are resilient, especially with the Grand Warden's Eternal Tome. Now, one more heal spell for the top so that most of the splash damage up there, all of the mortars, all of the Wizard Towers are covered, and uh, the miners are very easily able to work through them. Now, the Baby Dragon, uh, as those miners go underground, the Baby Dragon will actually pause for a moment and fail to follow until the miner that it's targeting comes up above the ground. So as you can see, gets very few shots off and caps, or this is Yotam. Yotam able to absolutely smash this base, completely overkill it. Look at how many miners are left over. So that's how to break this base down uh, with the mass miner attack. Um, just make sure that you funnel on the corners with your heroes. And uh, if you can't, if you don't have high enough heroes to get that funneled on all by 
uh, yourself with the healers or the, the heroes. Now, the heroes, not the healers. Uh, if you don't have the firepower with your heroes, if they're a little bit lower level, you can actually back those up with a few miners to go ahead and make sure that a couple buildings go down and then deploy the bulk of your miners from the bottom as shown. So Caps here is going to dis uh, display a very, very similar style attack and he is going to bring 46 miners in addition to five wall breakers. Now, watch the king deployment there. A few wall breakers go in right behind, open up that wall, and now the king is going to get in. He brought five wall breakers, one extra, just in case uh, his wall breakers died on the approach to some Teslas that were maybe a little bit of a surprise. Uh, the queen pops her ability, and would you look at that, completely smashed. Again, outside end deployment from the miners. And now... They head to the Eagle Artillery, and in they go to the core. So things are looking pretty sharp right now. Uh, one heal spell is going to come down here in the core. Poison spells for the CC, and again, you see a baby dragon. You see some, uh, you know, Valks, Wizard, Loon. Uh, so pretty high power uh, CC, but notice the Loon goes down from the poisons, and the baby drag is also affected by the poison. He does die. Now, again, as you saw in the last raid, if he does not die, it's not the end of the world, although it is less than ideal. Now, again, he protects his miners on the left side here because the queen is still alive, and he's trying to just basically prevent them uh, from dying as quickly. Now, the Grand Warden follows the main group of uh, miners up to the splash damage up here, and notice they just work their way through that splash damage, and once that splash damage is down, this base is pretty much wrecked. So again, uh, most of the miners make it to the backside of this base. They will work their way around, and then finally head over to the last little bit of defense in this base with the cannon and the Tesla. Really nice job here from Caps as he takes this base out very efficiently. Four more point defenses on the right side, and the miners are going to easily work their way through that. So very nice job there, working their way through the buildings. We've got miners coming across the base now, and uh, as you saw, very, very little... Um, you know, heal spell, you know, efficiency needed. I mean, just drop one on the bottom uh, the bottom when they converge, one in the core, very, very isolated areas. And it's, it's really, really obvious and easy where to drop those spells. So that is exactly how you three-star this base. This is a Town Hall 11 three-star vault. Not sure what this base is called, guys. If it does have a name, obviously it's an internet base. Um, if it does have a name, please let me know and I'll leave a uh, note in the title and the description about that so people, when they're looking it up, can actually find this video if it's something that they're interested in. So guys, hopefully you liked this episode. Um, obviously, uh, the spam attacks are not something I'm trying to like promote, but at the same time, this is a very easy way to take out this particular base right now. And if it uh, isn't as strong in the future, I can always come back and do another episode of this particular base if we encounter it again. Anyways, guys, that is all for now. If you like this video, hit a like button for me. And this is Power Bang, and I'm signing out for now uh, from Finland. Take care.